Did you know you could use Operations Dashboard or Insights for ArcGIS to visualize your cartograph work information in new and interesting ways? Once an organization integrates their work data to the ArcGIS platform, a variety of tools and capabilities become available. These tools in ArcGIS allow users the ability to not only visualize the information spatially, but also run some advanced analytics. Today, we're going to take a look at two of these tools and examples, Operations Dashboard for ArcGIS and Insights for ArcGIS, not only to be able to visualize information, but share that across a larger audience than just cartograph users. Let's take a look at two tools uh, in particular today that can be used in ArcGIS to visualize and interact with cartograph work data. We'll be looking at ArcGIS dashboards and insights for ArcGIS. We'll start off with ArcGIS dashboards, which we can see here. Uh, this is a uh, dashboard that I set up to reflect uh, some sample work request information that an organization may be tracking. Uh, so this data is coming across our work integration, and now we're able to see uh, all that interesting work uh, request related data in, in a series of, of dashboard gadgets here. Uh, we can see them on a map and interact with those on the map by clicking on any particular point, getting information. We also have an underlying heat map showing our hotspots, so that's a, a great visualization tool to look for those areas of concern, uh, areas that you may need to focus on. We also have a critical work request gadget here. Uh, that gives us uh, a breakdown of just our request issues that we deem as uh, you know, either important or high from a priority standpoint. Uh, by clicking on any one of these, you can highlight that on the map, uh, see some information, so it's a way to kind of drill in and, and get to that information really rapidly. And then down here in the right uh, corner, we also have just a simple uh, series of gadgets showing us counts of a number of issues or open request issues. Uh, this tool can be shared to a very large audience. It can be uh, shared out to non-cartograph users, uh, those users who have access to ArcGIS, or, or it could even be sh shared out to the public. Uh, so ArcGIS Dashboards is a great tool to start to kind of show some transparency, uh, share out that information to uh, highlight all the great work uh, that you're tracking in Cartograph. Switching gears, we're going to take now a look at uh, insights for ArcGIS. Uh, Insights uh, boasts uh, similar cap uh, capabilities to ArcGIS dashboard in the fact that you can have uh, you know, cards here which are, have uh, visualization gadget types. Uh, so we can see the same concept of a heat map here. In this case, we're looking at water work data. Uh, so we can see our hotspots of where our work is occurring and also where our highest costs are down in this uh, particular map. Uh, another cool capability of Insights is the ability to use a, a time series gadget to look at data sets over time. Uh, I have a total rule uh, labor hours uh, gadget and the total task cost over time. Uh, one of the uh, interesting things about this data set is that we can see that there is a clear outlier here um, in this interval of uh, 1217 to 1224 back in 2017, where we see a really big spike, not only in labor hours, and then correspondingly in our total uh, task cost over time. So that might be an area where I want to do a little bit more digging, uh, look at the tasks for that period and figure out why we had that uh, particular uh, activities going on in that, in that time frame. Uh, just a couple more gadgets here we can see are also like a breakdown of total cost by activity. We had a similar gadget in our uh, ArcGIS dashboards and then tasks by activity. So we can see uh, what we're doing um, broken out on a bar chart. So really powerful visualization tools. Uh, but one of the th nice things about Insight is not only to visualize your information, but to kind of start interacting with it and, and running the analysis uh, very rapidly. In this case, uh, I've taken uh, our work activities on uh, water uh, mains in particular and narrowed it down to ones where we're actually doing a, repl a repair or replace activity. So we can see those broken out uh, by the blue and red dots. I've also brought in um, from ArcGIS, the Living Atlas, uh, our NRCS soil types. Uh, in this particular case, I'm interested in seeing if soil type has an impact or, or has an effect on the repair or replace activities going on with our community. So very rapidly insights, what I can do is I can take my soil types layer here and add it as a new map. So I'm going to bring that down there and add that as a new map. And once I have that there, I'm going to take my repair and replace work uh, activities, my tasks, and I'm just going to drag them on top and do a spatial aggregation. So what I want to do is I want to see uh, by soil type all my re repair and replace activities. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
And additionally, I'm also going to add in here, I'd like to see my total costs as well uh, summed up. So I want to see what's going on from a total cost standpoint in those soil types. If I run that analysis, it's going to do that spatial aggregation for me here right within Insights. I don't have to go out and find a diff different tool to run. Um, I'm able to have that uh, pop up right uh, within the Insights application. And when it's complete, uh, I can see now um, an aggregation of those work activities by soil type. Uh, so this is a uh, kind of a count of a bubble diagram, but I want to switch this to be a little bit more thematic. So I'm going to come in here, uh, switch my uh, my symbolization over to uh, counts and amounts so that we can actually see our soil type polygons. And I can see now, um, you know, my work activities, what my repair replaces are very high in this particular soil type, uh, not so much in this soil type and then you know, even less in this soil type. I can also take this data here and look at it in a table view. So, um, and this is where I get the actual information where I can see the soil type. I can see, uh, if I scroll here to the right, I can see the count of the number of uh, work uh, repair or replace activities we're doing, and also uh, those uh, total costs as well. So this one particularly jumps out $385,000, $293,000, uh, which is this particular uh, area here. And if I scroll to the left, I can see that the soil type is um, uh, this particular one. So I can maybe narrow down and see if that's actually a soil type that contributes to water rain, main repair. So in summary, uh, insights for ArcGIS and ArcGIS dashboard really provide a lot of uh, capability in, and uh, ability to visualize and spatially interact with cartograph work data and are a great companion tool set uh, for any cartograph organization.